Gateway 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. All right, Amber, so since having you back this weekend, mm -hmm. you know, you've been bringing some good weather. It's beautiful weather yesterday. It's been beautiful weather today. But for the rest of the week, looks like things are, might be kind of heating up a little yeah, bit. that's a different story. So at least I got Mother Nature to, you know, bring us some nice weather for the oh, weekend. Yeah, yeah so. I won't complain. I won't complain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look outside at our Way 31 Sky Cam Network. This is powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Now, we do have more clouds in the sky today than what we had yesterday, but it was still nice and comfortable this afternoon for anything you had planned outdoors. And that will continue into your evening hours as well. Here's a look at your temperatures across the Tennessee Valley. We're at 85 right now in Huntsville. It's 86 degrees in Decatur, 88 in Moulton. It's 84 degrees in Gunnersville and 86 in Fort Payne. So over the next few hours, if you are looking for a good time to take that dog for a walk before settling in this evening, looking pretty good as we head into the evening hours tonight. That sun will set and our temperatures will fall into the 70s, but they're not going to stop there. As we head into the overnight hours tonight, it'll be another night in the 60s across much of the Tennessee Valley. 62 in Rainsville, 62 in Fort Payne, 65 in Scottsboro overnight tonight, 64 in Hazel Green, 66 in Huntsville, 63 degrees down in Faultful, 64 in Athens and over in the Shoals. A little warmer for you, but still in the 60s, 67 in Florence and Cherokee, 66 in Russellville this evening. Now, like I said, Enjoy the weekend because it's warming up as we head into next week. 90 by tomorrow, and then we're in those lower 90s again by Tuesday, Wednesday, into Thursday and Friday as well. Now, the temperatures will not be the only thing going up as we head into next week. So will the humidity. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will feature that oppressive category once again. So when the humidity rises, that's when you can expect those rain chances to be back in the forecast as well. And I'll get to that in a few minutes because they're going to be going up as well. Now, 31 triple Doppler right now is quiet and dry across the Tennessee Valley and across the entire state. Things are dry. All we're seeing is that cloud cover starting to move into the area overnight tonight. You can expect the clouds to stick around here or there. And then by the time you're headed out tomorrow morning to work to school, few clouds across the area. No rain in sight, though, for your Monday. Monday afternoon will feature a couple more clouds, but that is it. Rain chances, though, back in the forecast by Tuesday. Only a small chance Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They really start to go up by Friday. So I've been showing this model to you all weekend long, and there have been some changes since yesterday. So as we work towards Wednesday, maybe a shower or two. Thursday, trending more dry now as well. But by Friday, that's when we'll see our best chance of some showers, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms across the Tennessee Valley as well. So make sure that you are playing planning accordingly as we head into the end of next week. I do want to touch on the tropics, though, because we now have potential tropical cyclone number five in the Atlantic. Good news, though, it does look like it will stay in the Atlantic. Just be a fish storm and won't mess with anyone in the United States, but we'll keep an eye on it as we head into next week. So here's what we're looking at as far as our 10 day forecast is concerned here at home. 90s are back. Rain chances are back as we head into the end of the week, just in time for next weekend. So you got one good weekend anyways, and then early into the next week, there are hints that will drop back down into the 60s for those overnight lows. So, I mean, it's August. You can't beat it. You know, you, you mentioned about rain chances are back. I've pretty much made up in my mind that here in Alabama, there's always chances for rain. I'm glad you know that. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. <laughs> Trevor.